There can be no watch house less in need of an introduction than Rolex. It is a brand whose name echoes beyond the boundaries of industry. Rolex is the leading luxury watch manufacturer in the world, producing over 1 million watches, that generate sales of over $13 billion. So what has exactly gone wrong with Rolex? Let's have a look on it. Rolex makes too many watches, they are neither exclusive nor rare. There are only so many people and, therefore, wrists in the world. And yet Rolex keeps churning out unit after unit, year after year. The myth that Rolexes are exclusive, with specific models being hard to obtain, never goes away. You can't customize your Rolex. Rolex no longer allows modification. If a watch comes with a black dial, you're married to that dial for life. Modify your watch and Rolex won't even service it, unless they can change everything back to the way it was the day it left the factory, at your expense. Rolex has the world's laziest design team. Don't get me wrong. I like the fact you can see the evolution in Rolex design over a few decades. But the changes are glacial. Rolex hasn't come out with anything inspiring for years. The most you get, the same watch in a marginally different diameter case or dial option. Or, if you're fortunate, the same watch but in a steel and gold combination. If you want a stainless steel date just on an oyster bracelet with a silver dial and a fluted bezel, you can choose between a 28. 31, 36, and 41 mm case size. Or the same style in a 34 mm case with a different movement. So Rolex makes the same watch in five sizes spanning a diameter of 13 mm. As opposed to something genuinely new. Rolex doesn't do refurbishment, they replace. A lot of brands will sympathetically restore a customer's watch. Rolex prefers to rip out anything that is not up to its standard and replace it with a service replacement part. There is no such thing as a waiting list. Availability simply comes down to who spends the most money. Rolex gives authorized distributors an allocation list every month. The watches on this list depends upon how much money they spend with Rolex annually. It didn't matter if you were the first or last person to put your name on the list. The deciding factor always came down to how much the client had spent and how much the decision maker liked them. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you very very soon.